So yesterday we did a video on how to update an array uh, based on a dynamic index. Today we want to take that one step further, say our array is an array of objects, and we want to update a field um, based on the index uh, that is also a array of objects. So uh, let me go through and show you what we're starting out with, and it'll make more sense. So first we have this variable cards, um, which we run it. Here's our array of objects. Uh, very simple right now, but we have an activity and we have different groups um, that gives us an ID and a group name that are doing each activity. So you can see we have rock climbing, we have friends, we have family, and then playing soccer. We have uh, friends again and then roommates. So um, in this use case, let's say we want to find the index uh, based on the activity that's happening. And then we want to add a new group to the activity. Okay. So the group has to come into this uh, nested groups, which is another array of objects here. Okay, and maybe you're pulling this stuff from your database. I just have this stored in variables right now. Um, I can show you the group that we're going to add here. I uh, named it added object. So added object, Oops. typo there. Select this and I'll show you how we're returning it. Um, so if I run this, we're going to add this group to uh, that groups field under uh, play soccer, okay, because they want to play soccer too. So the first step is to find the actual index. So in the function stack under data manipulation, we have these array functions. This one's called find first element index. Um, the array we set to uh, this variable cards, which is what we're looking through. And then um, on the conditional that we're saying, we're saying, uh, we use this variable dollar sign this um, to take place of the array. And then we use dot notation to find uh, the activity we want to find. And I have this equal to play soccer. We could have this as an input um, to do it more dynamically or a variable. Um, but you get the picture. And then we're just calling this index. So that would be index one. Um, and now the last step is to update variables. So in yesterday's video, um, it looks pretty similar, but we're taking it one step further. So the existing variable we're taking is cards. The value we're updating it is by itself, but now we're applying some filters. The first one is we are setting it to the index, which is one, the value cards, but then we're getting um, index one of cards. Okay, so we're essentially uh, replacing index one, so that's play soccer in those two groups there by itself. With this set, the path being our variable index, the value already being cards, but then we're getting the path of index one. Once we do that, within that we are appending, so pushing something to the end of an array of our variable um, added object, and we're doing the path of uh, groups there, so we know where that wants to go in. Okay, so quick look at that again. Once again, setting it to itself um, right here with this set and this get and then appending. So pushing that object, that added object to the end with the path of groups. So now if we go ahead and we return cards right here and hit save. And if we go ahead and run this now, uh, what we're going to find is we see this added object group four, which is neighbors has been added to uh, groups here for playing soccer. Uh, 